live from your drive this afternoon here at N Vision, uh, all about the charitable work that helps people across Blackpool and the Fowl Coast with visual impairments. We're chatting with Abby. Let's talk about fundraising. Lots of fundraising opportunities. Tell us more. Um, yep, so we've got absolutely tons going on this year. Um, we are looking to put on the most events we've ever done before. We've got all of our traditional ones, which is our quiz nights and our um, summer and Christmas fairs, but we're actually doing our very first ever charity ball being held at the Devere. Um, that's happening in October to celebrate 110 years of the charity. So that's an absolutely huge one for us. Um, and we're also, we've got our um, three peers challenge, which we do every year. So um, that's a sponsored walk slash run slash crawl down the promenade. Um, and that, that's in the fourth year now, and that's getting bigger every year. And we've actually just confirmed that we're able to do one more big event this year to celebrate um, the 110 years, which is Height for Sight. So we've got staff, volunteers, and clients um, climbing the big one. Oh. <laughs> um, and we're looking at the moment, we're still kind of finalising all the details and everything like that, but we're looking to do that in July um, and have up to 20 Envision supporters all at once, um, obviously in the, in the blocks on the night, uh, climbing the big one. So there's absolutely tons going on. Because um, the charity, uh, I know it was asked earlier, by um, our chair, Joe Bannister, the charity actually costs 1.6 million a year to run. So we're constantly trying to think of new ways to find extra additional funding. So loads, loads going on this year. So I'm sure you're always open to suggestions if people have got any ideas. Oh my gosh, I'd love suggestions. I tear my hair out trying to think of things. But yeah, we love, we, um, we've started actually approaching businesses now and working in collaboration with them. So it could be a dress down day at work, it could be a cake sale, it could be bright for sight, wear some bright clothing. So at the moment, what I'm trying to do is um, just build some local connections with our local businesses and try and work more in partnership with everyone just to really maximise the fundraising possibilities for us. So important because one thing that we've not really touched on as yet across the afternoon, Envision helps visually impaired people of all ages. Yes. Yeah, there's no age limit. It can be from naught to 110 and up. You know, it literally is that. It is that wide. It's not means dependent. And it is anyone living um, in the Blackpool Files and Wyacosa. So it's absolutely massive, really. So the amount of people that we can potentially help um, is, is huge in, in terms of like our geographical location. But in order to be able to provide more services and do more in the community, we've got to get more fundraising in, we've got to get more funding in, we've got to be you know, targeting more and more each year to keep those services growing and keep them kind of um, very relevant in, in today's society, keep it current. We're doing a lot of work at the moment on digital and things like that. And so it's constantly evolving what we're offering, um, which costs money. So that's where I come in with my begging bowl. <laughs> Speaking of digital, the website's great. We mentioned briefly the website before. Can you donate through the website? You can. You can donate through the website. and um, We have got a Just Giving link um, straight on there. Um, we accept donations in all forms. So you can back us, send it via pigeon carrier, through the website, everything like that. Um, one thing I'm actually working on at the moment is I'm trying to get some funding um, I've got a couple of bids out at the moment because I'm looking to really revitalise the website. I want to make it even more um, user-friendly for the visually impaired. And once we've got that, there's going to be loads more things. It's going to be so much more interactive, a lot easier to donate, a lot easier to kind of get right to the heart of the charity really easily. So fingers crossed we'll be able to have that implemented really soon as well. Great to chat to you, Abby. Thank you so much. Just search for Envision online. That's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you.